G'day fellas, some really exciting news today. We are entering the golden age for Age of Empires 3. There are so many tournaments on the horizon right now and in this video I'm gonna be covering a few of them. Before we do get to the video though, I am currently live over on Twitch. Now this is gonna be a different type of stream. This is a serious Drongo stream. So it's gonna be ranked 1v1 only with no microphone, a two minute delay on stream. There's gonna be no sieve requests and there's definitely not gonna be any salad. I'm also going to be using a barcode name, which means that my enemy won't know who I am when they're playing against me. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, come and check me out. I'm preparing for one of the tournaments, which I'm gonna be talking about right now. Let's get to it. So first and foremost, yeah. fellas, if you haven't joined the Discord already, I encourage you to do so. There's a link down in the description of the video, which will take you through to the following page and you'll be able to join the Discord server that way. I'm encouraging you to join the Discord server because we've just opened a brand new channel, which is dedicated to discussing and promoting tournaments. And today I'm going to be going over the three tournaments that are already listed in the channel. So the first tournament that we're going to be talking about is the tournament that I'm currently preparing for. It's the $1,000 ESOC Challenge Cup. This isn't an invite only tournament. The good news is anybody can join this tournament on the condition that they're in the top 16. So I know it's a big ask, but it's incredibly exciting because as a player who's outside the top 16, I'm looking forward to spending the next couple of weeks up until the 28th of January, which is when signups close, grinding away at that ladder. And I want to make sure I get into the top 16. So you're probably going to see me a lot more on Twitch, going to be doing a lot of silent streams where I don't talk because I'm going to be focusing grinding, making sure I can hit that top 16 as soon as possible. There's been a lot of work put into this tournament and I'm most excited about the map pool. There are some maps that we haven't seen for a really long time. Maps like Sonara, Deccan and Great Plains are all in this tournament. So I'm incredibly excited to see them. Now keep in mind, this is an ESOC tournament. So in the event that you don't qualify, you can always be watching on the ESOC TV Twitch channel. And it does get uploaded to the ESOC TV YouTube channel after it's been live streamed on Twitch. And so for anybody who's looking at Age of Empires 3 and comparing it to the tournament that's ongoing currently in the Age of Empires 2 scene, Keep in mind that even though this prize pool isn't as large as the $30,000 that Age of Empires 2 have got, this is a great starting point for Age of Empires 3. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for us, because if this is a successful tournament in regard to participation as well as viewership, then it means that sponsors might throw their hat in the rink and help us out a little bit. So the second tournament that I'm going to be talking about is the 3v3 Royal Clan Tournament. So if you've played any games online, there's a pretty good chance you've run into a Royal member. They're quite a large clan, and in their clan they've got members of every single level of experience. They've got top 10 players, top 100 players, top 1000 players in there. So there's lots of resources and lots of support that the Royal Clan has got to put this tournament together. So the tournament isn't exactly entering as a team of three people. You're going to be entering the tournament as an individual. So a team captain will draft you based on your Civ preferences, your rating and your experience in the game. So at the moment, there are two weeks remaining for you to be able to sign up for this tournament and to avoid people not showing up to the tournament, which has been an issue in the past with larger tournaments like 3v3 tournaments, there is a $5 buy-in. Now keep in mind, if there are a lot of entries, you may not even be chosen or drafted onto a team by one of the team captains. And if that's the case, then you wouldn't be required to pay the buy-in. So I'm also gonna be putting my hat in the ring for this tournament. I'm not sure whether I'll get chosen to be a team captain but hopefully I'll get picked to be on one of the teams and then that means you guys will be able to see a bit more 3v3 content on the channel. So the next tournament that we're looking at is a two versus two treaty tournament. It begins on the 12th of February and the signups finish just the day before on the 11th of February. So with this tournament, you will need to bring a friend. You're not able to enter it by yourself, but if you don't have anybody to play with it, I'm sure you could come onto the Discord and ask in the chat and you'll be able to find a friend or a partner that way. This tournament's got a total prize pool of $400 and there's a specific Discord server that you'll need to join if you wanna take part in the tournament. And now, while it's not necessarily a tournament, there is a league that's also being put together for Treaty. So if you're interested in that, there's also a Discord server that you can join. You can find all of the links that I've discussed today on our Discord server under the Tournaments tab. And just a gentle reminder to everybody that these tournaments are not run by me or any members of my Discord staff. I'm just here getting the message out for them. So in the event that there are any incidents, please don't come to me saying, Drongo, uh, it's important that you follow it up with the admin for the tournament. All right, fellas. Well, that's all that I've got to discuss in this video. I'm incredibly excited about the future of Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. And tomorrow I'm gonna be having an Ottoman strategy that's been taking over the top of the ladder for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.